evening everyone uh, welcome back to another train sim world 3 live stream we're on the birmingham cross city line so i sort of loaded up the game and i was like what route should we do should we do that should we do that should we do that i was thinking maybe northern trans pennine tees valley i was sort of thinking 101 but then i sort of i just looked at cross city and it just it just felt right I, I, cross city caught my eye and i you know we both looked at each other cross city and me and i was like we're doing that one um, and yeah, I thought we'd do this service, which is Bleak Street to Bromsgrove. Uh, it's a slightly different to sort of the usual um, services. It's, uh, I suppose, an early morning pre-rush hour service. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what the service pattern or the stopping pattern is. Uh, as it said, an hour and four minutes. So, um, yeah, I wonder what it will be. Will it be non-stop through some stations? It will be cool to see. And we've got Quicko, Locomotion, Bonker, Laserjet, Connor, Amanda. How is everybody doing? Uh, cheers, Locomotion. Is Glossop Line coming out sooner than expected? Oh, because I'm in the 323. No idea. <laughs> yeah, we're up that way, Connor. But it's a bit weird because this one starts at Blake Street, I suppose, before it then goes out to Shenston, Litchfield City, and it was there, Litchfield Trent Valley. Uh, and as was known, there's Butler's Butler Lane, isn't there? Butler's Lane. Yeah, well, that's the next one. Right, let's get the doors open. Should, should open? Why is it not opening? Well, am I, am I being silly here? Why are the doors not opening? That was weird. They were like, just didn't want to. Oh, maybe it was the door key, but I'm pretty certain that does it automatically. Uh, we'll get the systems on. And uh, we've also got. Uh, vigilance. I uh, don't think we do need to do that. No, that's fine. Get the GSMR on. Bit pointless, but we'll turn it on anyway. Hello, Yorkshire. Oh, yeah, God. Uh, yeah, I remember now. Birchington. What line's that on? Rings the bell. It's uh, here, Bonker. Take care. So our calling pattern for today's journey is going to be Butler's Lane, Four Oaks, Sutton Coldfield, Wild Green, Chester Road, Erlington, Gravity Hill, Aston, oh, not Duddleston, Birmingham New Street, Five Ways, University, Selly Oak, Bourneville, Kings Norton, Northfield, Longbridge. Uh, so the only station we're not stopping at is Bank Green. Nice Yorkshire. I thought it was going to be that one then, but it's not this one. Hello, how are you? Yeah, no need for uh, for that, Connor, for the capital of Birchington. Where's Birchington? I'm seeing Kent as you stated. That one's going kind of straight the way through. Could be an ETS, maybe. Oh, I'll do a six coach one. Let's get the door shut. Nice uh, new order bus. Actually, I've actually, well, we've only done one stream today. Again, as I said, we've only had one stream the past couple of weeks. But I've been doing tons of videos. Uh, sort of restarting games we haven't done in ages on stream. Like today, I did a couple of ETS2 videos uh, on Pro Mods. And I've done, I think I've done about six videos today. So I'm just sort of trying to, sort of, I don't know, get ahead. Fill, fill the video bank with just tons of sort of lengthy good videos. Hello, Dan. Oh, Birchington. You've annoyed me now, Connor. Birchington. I'm trying to think where Birchington is. But I can't think. It's not on the bit between Faversham and Ramsgate. Birchington. Birchington. Where's Birchington? Birchington on C. No, it's not Birchington on C, is it? Dunno. Oh no, S and C F. <laughs> Can we train some other routes to drive cross city? You know what, Connor, you've intrigued me so much. I'm gonna have to go on Google Maps and stuff. I'll search where Port Birchington is because I'm pretty certain we've stopped there before. On uh on train sim, but yeah, no need for cap so. Birchington. It's Birchington on C, isn't it? 
No, it is, yeah. Birchington on C and Westgate on C. No, it is, yes. It is. Um, it is. Do I miss the freight on freeze? I do, yeah. But then I didn't travel on them. Travel on them all every day. So, I just went on them every now and again. Fair enough, Agent Brit. It's probably the best UK route to release to the game uh, so far within this Train Sim World season. Well, don't speed up that much. There you go. There's a brilliant route this one. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really get much better for UK routes uh, out this year. Well, from, from this one. Uh, what are the other ones we've had release? Mm, Edinburgh Glasgow it doesn't beat this. Um, let's put it here. And also Peak Forest, which I wouldn't say beats this for me at least. Hello, it's what's Maniac. How are you? Oh yeah, Midland. Why do I? Why do I, I always forget about Midland Main? Yes, Midland Main Line. Hello, that Roblox YouTuber. There's a shout out. Nice to see. Hello, George. Yeah, Midland Main Line. That doesn't be this one either. All the good routes come out in autumn. BML autumn. Cross City autumn. Uh, is LG routes got? Uh, oh, they. Yeah, they they probably have now. Yeah, I think it was six p.m. Well, this first yeah, I think they would be. You recently got Spirit of Steam, rated out of ten. Spirit of Steam. I don't know. I don't. I don't really like. I used to rate things out of ten, but I just don't like rating things out of ten. I don't. Know, I don't like rating things out of ten. It's just sort of. I don't. Know, don't like it. Um, but in simple terms, uh, it's it's all right. It's a nice, fast, steamy experience in the 50s between Liverpool and Crewe. Is it 35 into here? 55. I know it's instead of scary and how close it is to, to autumn already. Not nice. Nice, I see. That'll be one of the late night ones then. Nice, uh, quick, eh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I've never been on a free on three two three and uh, three two three in real life, so I don't know how they do compare to the real thing. Although I think people have said it's pretty good. And we actually are going to be seeing this train again this year as well on the Glossop line, uh, which I think is going to be about twenty quid the Glossop line. I don't think they've actually... Have they confirmed it's £20 the gloss up line? I remember when that first got announced, people were like, oh, that's quite short. Is it going to be less money? And I think they said it was. Nah, <laughs> fair enough, as I say. Do I like South Eastern High Speed? Yes. It's third rail. Of course I like it. Well, and it's AC as well. Well, that's that's the good thing about it. It's both AC and DC. You get the 25k, you know, uh, juicy wires, and then you get the 750 volts juicy rail. Um, but I like that. It's good. You've got the power change. You've got a javelin. You've got a bit of 375, 465. That's good. Yeah, maybe S and C F. Wonder what rivet are doing though. What are rivet doing? What's Skyhook doing? I suppose Skyhook are probably working on the mid and mainline patch, aren't they? Yeah, West Cornwall local. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Wow, it's it's scenic. It's 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 a nice journey, but it's just not that. It, it's, yeah. Would be nice to see maybe a more modern West Cornwall local. 
uh, where you then have double track between Truro and St Austell, Castle sets. Uh, no, you, no, you wouldn't have Castle sets. I don't think that far, but you'd have HSTs, uh, you know, IETs, uh, a bigger selection of diesel multiple units. Even just adding the Falmouth branch to West Cornwall local would be cool. So that's another branch line you can go down. I'm surprised I didn't actually include it uh, in the first place, the Falmouth branch. It's your favourite route because of free trains. Fair enough, Adrian Britt. Stuff's waking up. It's a good one, that. Hello, Munchies, how are you? Someone leaked the Conway Valley line for uh, train to but I doubt the Conway Valley line. I mean, it wouldn't be entirely surprising. Um, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be entirely surprising, as it is probably, it would, would be a nice, a nice addition and probably quite quick and simple to do. Uh, but I, I doubt it's coming. Hello, Callum. How are you? Yeah, Adam did leave Tough so Oh, he's gone to Sky. That's good then. Yeah, when I heard he left, I wasn't particularly happy because I knew, obviously, Adam was very passionate about the game and, you know, about improving things for the game. So, yeah, I wasn't really too happy when uh, I did hear he'd left. But if he's gone to Sky, it means he's still working on Train Some World, so lovely. Has he confirmed he's gone to Sky Hook then? That's no, brilliant if he is at Sky Hook though, good on him. It's really not true. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, Callum. Oh, you were teaching someone the 18 and 21. Nice. Oh, brilliant, uh, Agent Britt. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a weird one, the Conway Valley line, as I've been... I've been at the northern end and the southern end of it. I've been at Blenheim for Stineog, for the uh, for Stineog Railway. And then I've been at Clandidno probably 11 years ago or so uh, to go up the Great Orm and... Like the Great Orm is great. Uh, but yeah, I've never actually been on it, even though I've been to North Wales too many times. Although saying that, I might actually try and go on it this summer. It'd be nice to go on it, give it a go, give it a bash. Nice, I see. Awesome, Callum. I wouldn't be surprised, Agent Britt. I mean, there's probably just no point upgrading them, is there? I mean, here we get that like, one, two trains on there, that's it, just going backwards and forth. The service is quite irregular as well, I think, on the Conway Valley. I remember I was trying to see how I could get to Betty's Coed. Um, from where I am and yeah it said like, I had to wait until the next day uh, even if I left at like 10 in the morning or so so yeah, I don't think it's a very regular service down the valley that would be cool uh, Luke what's my favourite route on Train Sim World it's the Brighton Main Line on Train Sim Classic it would if we're excluding the Brighton Main Line, it would be the ATS Kings Lane Kings Cross route. That route is just amazing. Right, Chester Road next. I do for now, Quicko. 
but only for another sort of couple of weeks, which I doubt there will be any work within those couple of weeks as it's sort of quite a quiet time. I mean, football's now done, not really much work's going on. So weekend stuff is, well, probably won't be any. Hello Yoshi, how are you? Uh, but that was before the COVID. Yeah. It's very slow as well, isn't it? Very slow. Now, you're driving the 18 for the second half of your duty, your salt screen doesn't go down, and you're just cooking in the cab. Oh dear. I'm not going to say yet, Quicko, uh, who I'd be working for uh, come July. Um, that's probably quite a... Um, uh, you'll probably be able to tell. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll still do, do my sort of Discord journal does yeah slow uh, did you know you can press zero to get more camera options oh yeah whoa well, I did not know that, that Roblox YouTuber wow check out that Roblox YouTuber Hello, Ben plays Roblox. That's uh, I, I didn't actually know. That's actually quite. Uh, I didn't know that actually even came up. That's well, nice. Oh yes, Dan. Oh yes, and trucking. <laughs> Lovely, uh, Callum. Yeah, only for caps, uh, Connor, as, as I've mentioned. I'm sure Scarborough doesn't need to be in bold. I know, extra stuff. I mean, I didn't even realise that, and I've been playing this game on keyboard for ages. So. And this is our next stop. Right to the end. Yeah, this route is just, it's fantastic. This route's the best UK route to release since the, within this train sim world season. And for German routes, it would be the um, Niedertalbahn. And for US content, I'd say the best thing to release has been the Acela with the Boston Sprinter upgrades. That, I'd say, is my sort of three top regional DLCs. Hello Callum, how are you? Right, the gravelly hill next. Hello Callum, how are you? Yes Dan, well probably not on stream though, but maybe at some point. <laughs> lovely Callum, well not lovely but enjoying the weather, so fair enough. Uh, do I prefer playing this on PS5 or Xbox? I haven't actually been on the Xbox in quite a while. As I've said, there's been not really any TSW releases, which I use the Xbox primarily for. Um, so I, I prefer playing on the PS5 on, on Train Sim because it um, sounds better. And it's a bit of a weird thing to say, but on Xbox it's quite distorted, the sound. Um, and I just, I just prefer playing on the PlayStation for this. Hello Joseph, how are you? 
Uh, coming up to Gravity Hill. Which is on quite a bit of a gradient as well, so you've got to sort of be uh, cautious. Front of Agent Brit. But now I've, I've had some good gaming today. It's it's quite it's been quite a it's been a good day. I've got up early. I don't know why I got up early, but I just decided to get up early. Why not? Sort of make the most of the day. So I've done yeah two ETS videos. Uh, two more Railway Empire 2 videos, which puts up the amount of episodes to 32. Uh, I've done OMPSI, I've done yeah, a bit of everything. So just a nice chilled out recording gaming day. What's, ev what's everyone else been up to? Same here, Carl, same here. I wouldn't say loving ETS Dan, not not just yet, but I, I did enjoy it when I was playing it. Hello G Boy, seven hundred oh is it? That's okay. Fair enough, Agent Brett. <laughs> That's all. Uh what's that, how are you doing, Krazza? Do you prefer the PlayStation to play most of your games on console? No, I don't. I don't mind. Uh, I'm not like you know. I prefer PlayStation. I'm not like no. I'm not like PlayStation's better. Xbox is better. I just play. I don't mind what console I play on. But for Trains in World, the sounds are a little bit distorted on Xbox. So I do prefer to play on the PS. Lovely, Amanda. It's an interesting combination. So I'll be Aston next. <laughs> you can admit to loving it again. We will we'll have to do some multiplayer, Dan. If you're if you're about tonight, we can uh, do some if you want. But I'll, we'll be on pro mods. I need to get Nick to get pro mods now. Shouldn't affect his PC too much, I can't imagine. I've not really noticed much of a performance difference. Hello, Andrew. What's up, all, all burn? I suppose more wind burn, wouldn't it be, Callum? Yeah, it'd be more wind burn, probably. Forty, which we come down a little bit early for, and then down to twenty. Hello, Alfie. How are you? Yeah, I've got the one pound twenty-three pro mods. Quest three. What's that game? I'm sure that's what will be on sale at some point. There's usually sort of summer sales, aren't there? Or early summer sales. Uh, not really, Andrew, no. <laughs> not at all. Sounds good, Dan. What a lovely run this has been. I remember on the last one it all went a bit wrong. A Streamlabs sort of uh, Streamlabs crashed, and then we overshot a platform. As I was, I was annoyed. Just didn't really go well last time. But this one's been good so far. Oh, VR. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think it was a game or something. Quest for it. You got a cat out there. You got Gavin. Gavin the cat. Oh, whoa, alright, man. Uh, um, yeah, and, and the, on the beach. Is that one going straight the way through? I think it is. Oh, hello, goodbye. 
up it goes. Right. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Lovely of us. Yeah, see you down. Thanks for coming in, mate. Take care. And if you are about for trucking later, give me a, a bell. Give me a give me a message. And we can do maybe like a recording session multiplayer. But yeah, if you haven't got this route. Um, highly, 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 highly recommend it. It is fantastic. Did I buy Subway? I actually got a key for Subway Sim. Uh, I probably should do another video on it, but then it is PC and it doesn't run particularly great. Um, but I'll uh, give it a go at some point again. That was Aston, next one's Duddeston. There's not really a lot of does us then. <laughs> What's the fear for an old dear? Sounds good. That would probably run it fine, I mean mine doesn't really make much of a difference really. I mean it doesn't make any difference with, with pro mods. Just adds a few more roads. The performance wise should be exactly the same. And this is Duddeston. You've also got a working off indicator, which is really nice to see. Something I would like to see, you know, on other routes. And there you go, there's the off indicator. Which I would like to see that on basically all UK routes going forward. It'd be nice to see off indicators. Maybe even if they can implement the closed doors and right away. I think that's probably a bit more technical though. Maybe they could have a chat with the uh, ATS chat moss creator. And here we are. <laughs> Costa del Cumbernauld here. Bacon hot. <laughs> oh, definitely not some Rex. Some Metro bus drivers are lovely. It's quite funny actually the other day, um was on the two nine one from uh, Crawley to Tunbridge Wells. Um there was an Omni City, a two thirty UB Omni City, which is the single decker fastway one hundred ones. All time favourite TSW route, Brighton Mainline. Um and uh, yeah, the mirror was uh, I think the mirror was either loose or it was just, I don't know, yeah, something was up with the mirror that the driver couldn't see it or could see it just about. Um, so he had to call the engineer out, so we were stuck at uh, Fellbridge Hotel, I think the stop was called, for about 15 minutes, went for the engineer to come out to sort of basically take off the mirror and put a new one back on. And it was quite funny because when the driver sort of stopped the bus, he sort of got and he was like, don't hate me. But we will be stuck here for a little while. <laughs> Seems like a nice driver. Hey, cheers, man. Comes down to 30 uh, in a second. It's just after the signal, I think, actually. Yeah, there it is, just there. And they got Curzon Street there down on the right. Oh, there's another one. What's that doing down there? What are you doing? Well, I don't know where that one's going, but that one's uh, down there. Where is that going? Is that... Oh, it must be us. Probably went for the other one. That's cool. How are you, Daz? And the man I got. 
Taps off for 20. Lovely in with a bus. <laughs> oh dear. Everyone getting angry. Oh, they are seven wrecks. They are. I just can't believe they ran it on the two nine one. They had quite weird allocations on uh, on Wednesday, but I think it was because of the uh, because of the train strikes. They had a lot of double deckers on the a hundred, so the a hundred buses were then, or the hundred branded buses were then on the sort of less important rural routes. Which it would have been nice to have a double decker on the 291, as it's a beautiful route. Going sort of through the forest row. And if we are on time, should have a couple of minutes here at Cross City. No, at uh, <laughs> New Street. Love this train, look at this. All lit up in the in the dark. Very slow into it. I think the 700 will work. Uh, uh, on AC power, probably. A bit weird, but yeah, you probably could do it. £1.50. That's probably because it's not too far, is it? I was going to say, not, not £2. Ah, oh, of course that's not why. Of course the mic decides to turn itself off. Um, I'm a genius. <laughs> Basically what I did, I just... Streamlabs froze. It's like a new bug or something it's got. Um, we won't just... Oh, let me quickly explain that first. Uh, yeah, Streamlabs um, froze. So what I did, I shut it down completely. And then managed to... Sort of load it back up. And then go live again. With using the same stream key. Uh, which Streamlabs does it all automatically, so it's magic. So it managed to uh, reload or sort of reintegrate with the original stream. So it's just continued on. Because what I did on YouTube itself, I turned off auto stop because it came up saying no data. Basically, streams died. So I turned off auto stop, um, which for some reason is now on again, uh, which stopped it from ending completely. Um, so we now should be, hopefully, basically back to how we were, just a few less people in the stream. Which is annoying, but at least now we know we can actually continue it, which is, is, is good news. Now well, that's really good news, actually, the way I figured out how we can now do that. Because it basically just eliminates the problem. Big brain play, exactly. Same for recording, because when it freezes when recording, what I have to do is basically just close down Streamlabs, go into Task Manager, shut down OBS something, and then it just it doesn't corrupt the file and keeps it working. So I'm working my way around the issue. So it's a little bit annoying when it does that, but I think it's, it's just like completely out of my control. Didn't ever used to do it before, and I haven't changed anything. I've also reinstalled it a couple of times. But at least we know how to fix it. Here we are. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to enable auto stop. I'm going to turn that off again. Just in case it does it again, but hopefully it won't. It doesn't like the cross city, does it? They did this before when we were doing cross city. It was like, nah, not doing it. 
but at least now we know how to sort of re uh, restart within the same stream. Oh, if I write it, oh yes, I did, yeah, because of the, um, yeah, I heard about that. How much sort of extra time was it to do that? All right, Smudge, you can wait, all right? Let's get the door shut. And five ways next. Right, let's go. Awesome Krasner. A nice step to make. Not the same amount as us, right then. Marge, oh wait. No. Sit on your chair and bano. Look at the screen. <laughs> Hello, train fan, how it no. I think she wants to go out, but she only just come in when we started the uh, stream. More Sherman Hill action, nah. Ah, oh, C7 Rex. You alright? As much as that we. No. Go on, go that way, not too long. You're back after five months. Has it been five months? The Amtrak ACS 64 not being in the game anymore. What, the special livery one? That one, or just as a whole? No, I haven't. It'd be a bit weird if it was gone, though. No, she come. wants to go out, and then as soon as she gets sits behind the chair, she's like, "Nah, I'm staying." Well, we're off. So apologies for the slight technical issues, but I managed to, I had a big brain for that, so I managed to basically just make it stream to this same stream key, which is like this specific um, bit of content. I don't know, it's all a bit confusing. Oh, weird, Evan. Well, if you remind me, I'll have a look after this once we get to... Bromsgrove, just say ACS 64 and I'll have a look on my one. As we get that up. No, I'll have a look for it if you remind me. Oh yeah, 7 Rex. Yeah, and we should whiz out this one. I think it's into the station. Yeah, here's the station. So this is five ways. Don't know where, Krasna. So we got uh, Evan. About five ways. Uh, what route? Well, the one we're doing. Uh, this is two Oscar O four. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look, Evan. Here we are, and then it's University next. That's a collectible there, but now yeah, we'll leave it. And we're off. You gave up on train simulator for some reason because it keeps crashing. Oh, that's not good. Is that your computer, maybe? Or was that train sim world? Yeah, what's that? Because if it's train sim classic, you do need a fairly beefy PC to run it all right. 
Oh no, it's a wreck. Been a flight similar, fair enough. Out we go. Cool. Let me speed up a tiny bit as well. Up to 50 on sort of the canal section of the route. Is there a roadmap next week? Uh, I believe so, yes. Basically, probably what it's, all, what, basically what it, what it's going to be is just gloss up and 700, I'd imagine. Maybe a few more screenshots, maybe a dev diary on how they made the, I know, the gloss up or something. I don't think there'll be anything new on there. That's still a bit exciting. Ah, uh, C-Train fan, that might be one of them. So we've got University, Selly Oak, Bourneville, Kings Norton, Northfield, Longbridge, and then Bromsgrove. On our run through the UK's second city, Birmingham. Eight hundred and sixty three transport, that probably why it probably crashes the trains and then probably quite low on memory if you've got that many uh, mods. I'd have a massive clean out. Right to the end, I think. Well, near enough. Right, yeah, this is university. Spent sixty per. Oh, wow. When people say train sim DLC is expensive. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Uh, seven wrecks. Not really seven wrecks. West Midlands train service formed of three coaches. Yeah, Sally Oak after this, which is just sort of round the corner. Right, get the door shut. Oh, and someone also asked about Colin Arkin. I don't know if they're actually still there. Um, I think it was Dan86. Uh, Colin Arkin is, is, is a good mix. It's a good mix between sort of high speed and, and commuter. Uh, I mean, half the route is high speed, and the other half is sort of conventional German lines. Uh, you get a nice, a good few fair trains on there. You get the Talent 2 and the Ice 3. Um, I say a fair few, I think that's, I think that's it. Um, but it's a really nice mix, and it's a really nice journey as well. Uh, but if you do get Colin Arkin, get the New Journeys expansion with it, which means you get a Joe Burgess timetable, which just compl completely changes Colin Arkham for the better. So if you get Colin Arkham, get the New Journeys expansion with it. How does my computer work? That's a question I think quite a lot. I don't know how it does work. Fair enough, Evan. Don't 
Turn it all there. Is this Sally Oak? Not a long wait time here, basically ready to go already. 20 seconds before. It's a nice livery, the West Midlands trains one. Uh, it's a chocolate place next, chocolate factory. So I don't really get bored, of, well, I do get bored of this route sometimes, but um, it's, it's well, as I said, it's, well, it's the best UK one to release, I'd say, uh, within this sort of train some world season, sort of August 2022 to well, we don't know about gossip so far. Uh, but yeah, it's brilliant. Very detailed, very thorough, basically the full thing. Great train, good scenery, good amount of detail. It's just very good. It's like a fruit salad. Hello, Berman Audio, how are you? There's a power supply, yeah. Look at all. Controversial there, pointless. <laughs> Fair enough, eh? Now we're not coming into Bourneville. But I know that's the best of Bright Man, it's very good. Bur uh, uh, because that's the Brighton main line? Well, no, your name's Birmingham, so I'm guessing probably Birmingham Cross City. Uh, I think an American company did buy Cadbury, didn't they? And changed a few bits and bobs. Made it less sweet, I think. Allegedly. You had Terry Shop Grange the other day for the first time in forever. Uh, was it good? <laughs> it's my favourite chocolate. There's uh, probably three specific Terry Chocolate Orange flavours I like. That's the original. That's, I'd say, the best one. Actually, I wouldn't say that the original is the best one. I'd say the the Toffee Crunch Terry Chocolate Orange. That's the best one. Um, and then you've then got the normal one. And you've also got the one they didn't actually do last year and the Sexations, which was the the Crunch one, which is like basically just... I suppose it's got biscuity bits within... The chocolate, which is also nice. Yeah. Well, it's in the colours of the chocolate. Yeah, it's the, it's the Cadbury chocolate colour. And it's just here is the Cadbury chocolate factory. Yeah, there's even a chocolate bar somewhere. Let's have a look. Looks like one of the coolest collectibles. Which I'm sure you would approve of them. Look at that. Cadbury Dairy Milk. It is, it is the chocolate station. Lovely something, Rex. Oh dear, train fan. Popping cat. Oh, that, yeah, that's good. That's a good one. But dark terry chocolate orange, disgusting. And white terry chocolate orange, disgusting. And also the little uh, ball chocolate uh, chocolate orange balls they do. It's like Maltesers, but chocolate orange. They're disgusting. Well, from a personal point of view. And King's Norton next.
30 across here. Okay, it is. <laughs> now we'll be going across. There's another 323. Yeah, 30. And then to King's Norton. Uh, right, Connor. Are you copying stuff from National Air Inquiries or something? That was quite a sudden stop, that one. It's quite hard to see because it was a, in the sun there. I saw it quite late on. Oh, so you're not pointless. <laughs> and north field after this. Let's go. It's not too far to go. Uh, not completed a run yet, does look good though, it's fantastic. Again, Smudge. Soon, almost done. Just like, oh wait, let me out. No, not down here, over there. Isn't the UK route going to be like the one you're driving right now? The Glossop line? Similar. I mean, it's going to be the 323, and it is. It's basically the Manchester version of this. But a lot shorter. So, yes, similar ish. We've played the um, 70s version in the quickest train ever, the 506, I think it is. Oh, Lind 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 Lindor's lovely. <laughs> it's in a shell. Like your mini eggs. Hopefully, Ben. And this is Northfield. Here we are. Oh, nice car. There's another six coach one there. They're the best ones today. Longbridge after this, and then uh, then the last stop, Bromsgrove. Living layouts, traders, live stream. A certain couple model engineers. That's my just trying to get on the seat again. Come on. That'd be awesome. Yeah. What would be nice as well is to see a route literally just for the 700. Well, at least a route with the 700. That would also be quite nice. Which then might have then layered on to South Eastern. You know, something like the Midland Main Line uh, South. Or, you know, East Coast Main Line South. Well, I feel like it's probably a good chance of seeing both of those routes. But the next signal is at the end of the platform at Longbridge. If I remember correctly, hopefully I do, otherwise we're going to spad. 
Hello, Dazza. I'm alright. How are you? And there is working TPWS on this train, so if you go too fast up to a red light, it will bite you. Yeah, we get to Bromsgrove, and then that will then be that. But a nice run for down from uh, Blake Street. Birmingham is a mysterious place to me, a southerner. I don't think I've actually ever been to but I've been through Birmingham I suppose I've been over Birmingham on the M6 which sort of flies over it apart from that it's a mysterious place what's in Birmingham it's here Dazza Coming up to the red light. That's green now. Must have been some sort of approach control. That'd be cool, uh, Dazza. Because they might have sort of rename it a little bit, but yeah, that would be uh, would be cool. And they could get some cross countries in the 170. Uh, ish, pointless, ish. People think I live all over, which is probably a good thing. Worthing, um, which has been said before, Plumpton. Wait, if I did uh, Plumpton, that'd be great. Cause there's a lot of mansions around there. Uh, where else do people have? Brighton, that's another one. Crawley. See, so, yeah, I, I live just all over. <laughs> But yes, I am that way, pointless. And then after this, we're straight to Bromsgrove. <laughs> Crew unite, yeah. That looks quite nice, actually. Let's try and get a screenshot of that. East Kent Model Railway Society. I don't know what you're on about, uh, Connor. There's that different railway societies now. Nice pointless. Haven't been out that way in quite a while. Let's get the door shut. Evening, Mick. How are you? I saw you. Were you farming earlier? Or are you still farming? Do you use um, Streamlabs, Mick? I've been having... No, I think you use Stream Elements, don't you? Yeah, do, do you use Streamlabs, Mick? Because I've been having issues with it recently where... Well, actually, I've managed to work out how to sort the issues or work around the issues, but where, say, on a stream, it will just freeze. Um, which happened on this stream, but I managed to... Um, basically re-ignite the stream to this stream key, so it just it was fine in the end. Hello, Jackie Dory. How are you? <laughs> Being honest, pointless. Fair enough. Bit of horn as well. I haven't done horn. It's got a good horn. And we're off. Cool. Look, oh, caught a tweet already. Wow. Ready. Are you alive, Mick? Well, I am going to send people over your way once we're done. There we go. You will be sent over to. Uh, <laughs> cheers, Mick. You will be sent over to Mick's stream. Now, if you haven't checked out Mick, go check him out. Lovely guy. He's doing farming at the moment. Farm sim. So, um, yeah, I'll send everyone over there. I like this new redirects YouTube thing or new ish thing. When it works. So, yeah, getting that up. This is the fastest part of the journey.
Let's just have a barn green, then you would have to slow down. Get a fly by shot as well, because we can. Let's go ahead and watch it flying by. There you go, almost at top speed now. It's like a nice countryside stretch. There's another unit there. And we're approaching Barnt Green, which will be flying right the way through. Stand back, we're coming through. They've got the Redditch branch that goes off here. It's just a fantastic route. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> oh dear, Amanda. Yeah, sounds good, Mick. Well, I'll send everyone over. Get everyone to say hi. I think the speed does come down as well. Up here, I think. 75 or 80. That's a whistleboard there, actually. Quite frequent on any of us. Yeah, pretty frequent. So, uh, no, that's 25, not, not, not that. So, we're about to go down the Licky Incline, uh, which is the steepest uh, grade, uh, mainline grade, I think, in, in the UK. Who's Mick? An awesome guy. Um, and yeah, I'll also check the uh, northeast corridor as well after this. Right, Connor. Right, Smudge, in a second, almost set. Yeah, so yeah, this is the steepest uh, mainline grade. I think it's also probably... No, not, it can't be the steepest grade. It's got to be steeper up in Scotland or somewhere. But the steepest uh, mainline grade in, in the country. Being a 1 in 36, I think it is. So every 36 metres you go forward, you go up one. But in our case, it's every 36 metres we go forward, we go down by a metre. Which is quite a considerable amount. If you work out what a meter is in every 36 meters, as we come down into Bromsgrove, That's a really nice run though. Not too bad either. Not too bad. That is position four on the junction indicator there. Coming off the grade and then straight into Bromwell's Grove. All perfect there for the 40. there. Pop that down. Everyone seems to be congregating over here. What are they doing? Who 
about this is Bromsgrove. Uh, let's get that off. If we can set that to on. Uh, there we go. Right, let's um, let's let's come out of here. But yeah, this is Bromsgrove. Uh, journeys in. This would then probably go back to. This is going to back to Bromsgrove. Apparently, that can't be right. Um, yeah, let me quickly check for you, um, Evan, if you're still. Oh, that's a really nice screenshot there of the uh, Euro Phoenix 37. Uh, so apparently, the ACS 64 is missing. It's completely vanished. Uh, so we'll have a little look. Once it loads. And yeah, then I'll send you over to Mick, who is live streaming Farm Sim at the moment. So do stick about, and it will send you over there for a bit more, probably hours worth of Farm Sim. Uh, Boston Sprinter. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, it has. What about on this one? The ACS64 has disappeared. How very weird. Well, that must be some sort of bug. Um, but yes, hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, as I said, do stick around. It will take you over to Watt McFood, who's doing farm sim at the moment. Lovely. Check him out. Uh, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.